Now today we're going over on how to tune up your torque wrench. Let's get started. Now these two torque wrenches are incredibly popular. This bottom one is Harbor Freight and this top one many of you have probably purchased off Amazon. Let's first test this one. This is almost 10 years old. Now to test the torque wrenches, I'll be using a digital torque adapter and we're going to place the adapter in a vise. And now we can grab our torque adapter. As always, I'll have the link of all the tools in the description box below. Let's turn it on, attach our torque wrench. Now right off the bat, I'm going to set this to 50 foot-pounds. So here we go. 45.9, let's try it again. Do it a few times, 44, 46, 45, so not too bad, but we do need to adjust it just a touch. So this has an accuracy of 4%. So at 50 foot-pounds, we should see a reading between 48 and 52. And we're well below that number, so we need to increase the torquage so those bearings click at a higher value. And I'll show you how to do that. Let's also test it at 75 foot-pounds and jump over to the other one. 68. 69, 71. So loosen up the grip of the torque wrench well past the zero mark. And we need to hold this in place. Okay, adjustable wrench. This is a 28 millimeter reading, by the way. If you'd rather use a wrench than an adjustable wrench. And And now, where the threaded portion is, I'm turning this clockwise because I need to increase the value. If you need to decrease the value, you're turning this counterclockwise. So just a little bit, okay? Locking nut back down. Nice and tight. And let's retest. So I have the torque wrench set at 50 foot-pounds. Here we go. 50.9. 50.4. 49 49.0. We are right on the money. And now let's check for 75 foot-pounds. 72.8. 72.9. We're in good shape. Now that is really terrific to see. Chances are many of you have a Harbor Freight torque wrench. They're inexpensive. And as you can see, after almost 10 years, the accuracy really was not that far off. Small adjustment and we're up and rolling. Whenever you store these torque wrenches, by the way, good rule of thumb, leave it at around 10 foot pounds and you're good to go. Let's check out this guy now, which is adjusted just a little bit differently. Now this torque wrench is only two years old, so I expect this to be pretty good. But here we go, I have it set at 50 foot-pounds. 48.6, 50.5, this is in great shape. Let's try 75 foot-pounds. 74.1, 74.2, 74.3, 77.3, this is in great shape, but let me show you how you can adjust it. Right here you have a rubber grommet, and inside you'll find a little, little Allen screw. Now the size of this Allen, or really it's a torque screw, is a T15. And just like the Harbor Freight torque wrench, you turn this torque screw clockwise to increase the value before the ball bearings click, counterclockwise to bring down the number. And that's really it. I just wanted to share this with you guys. Make sure that your tools are up to spec. In my case, I'm also double checking because I plan on doing a timing belt and water pump within the next few days, which I will record if you want to check that out. And as always, thank you for watching.